In this tip and trick, we're going to have a look at accessing data um, from outside sources. So basically our supplier content. If you have a look on our web tab, we've got a supplier content button. And this fires up an Autodesk Manufacturing Community website. Um, I personally use TracePart as I have an account with them. And basically you'll see a list of hundreds of suppliers shown over there and then different um, categories on the left hand side. So in this instance, if we go and have a look at petroleum and related industries, um, go and click on equipment for petroleum and natural gas industries, you'll see up the top right hand corner there that there's 278 types of parts. Um, and if I go and click on pipeline components and pipe, pipelines in general, um, I'm going to choose this little pressure vessel for instance and um, choose the size I want. It'll load up a little 3D model in the background. Um, in the meantime, I can tell it what CAD format I want. So I can choose Inventor from the list. Um, there's a few others in there, including 2D formats, and um, choose 2010. I can then add this to my part caddy, um, which will actually allow me to download the file. Um, so you see it's in progress at the moment. As soon as it's ready, I've got an option to either download the file, uh, where I can save it and put it into a specific uh, place, maybe load it into my uh, my vault. In this instance though, I'm just going to click on insert and what this will do is it downloads the file and I've shortened this download process a little bit for this video. Um, you tell it where you want to save the file to. It then opens it up inside of Inventor and straight away I can now place this file into my assembly. So I can literally just grab it and drag and drop it straight into my assembly and I can then manipulate it as needed. And that's basically how you would grab supplier content off of the internet. Thanks for having a look.